this is a simple ring. I'm using a stainless steel blank, um, some black tourmaline that's been coated, um, makes it sparkle basically. Not sure if it's going to show up. And then some mica powder that's Liberty Copper in color. So let's go ahead and go with that. I add the super glue gel, make sure it's all around, and then start adding the copper mica. Once the background copper is in place, I start placing each of the black tourmalines. Uh, it's somewhat random, somewhat ordered. Ordered chaos. Let's go with that. Once that's finished, I add the CA glue and pretty much soak it in it. And then add more of the copper mica to the top uh, to make sure I'm filling in all the gaps. and then soak that all down with some thin CA. Then I start with 80 grit sandpaper drums and grind everything down and you will go through a ton of these because of how hard tourmaline is. And to be completely honest with you, I did this with the carbide bit uh, the first time around and it ended up breaking three bits so just grind it down and suffer through the sandpaper changes uh, once the sanding drums are finished I went ahead and switched over to regular sheets and worked my way from oh about 240 grit on up to 1200 grit and then switched to micro mesh and worked up to 15,000 grit My nine-year-old son chose the background and the stones to use. I'm not sure I want to work with tourmaline again unless I change the process. Uh, overall, it turned out okay. It's almost like a fire and brimstone look uh, in the correct light, um, but it's incredibly hard to sand everything down and have a nice polish without any scratches. Until next time.